Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Have you ever been at a time in your life where you're like, God, where are you? What are you doing? Why are you allowing all this mess to go on in my life? What is the point? I don't get it. I know you know what's happening, but Lord, you're not letting me in on the secret. Have you forsaken me when I need you with me desperately? Has something died inside of me that keeps me from believing you love me? How can I doubt your love when you always pull me through? You never go away, I go away from you. Deliver me from fantasy and feelings I hold selfishly. If I just get my mind off me, then I could see. My God, whose love is like a tree with roots that grow down endlessly. You're always there in spite of me. You're always here reminding me you love me. I love that song. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that you understand how much he loves you. You know, there's a scripture that says, you know, that he hopes that you feel the fullness of his love. The fullness. There's a fullness of God's love. You can't, you can't get by hearsay. You've got to get in God's face really get in his face, bear your soul. I mean, go after him like a pit bull, baby, and seek him for his love. Because I tell you, once you know how much God loves you, and even what he lets us feel, is a little inkling because if he loaded it all on us, we'd probably drop dead from being overwhelmed. But even from the little tidbit that he gives us, even that is so overwhelming and it leaves an indelible mark that never goes away. So when things go wrong, even if we're prayer fussing at God, guess what? Deep down in here, in spite of how we feel about him, or even what we may think he feels about us. We know that we know that we know he loves us. And when you know that God loves you like that, it is an anchor to your soul. I kid you not. I experienced his love in 1981. Sometime in November, shortly before my father came home for me to take care of him. He was in the hospital. From that day to this, that has been that one moment of experiencing God's supernatural love has been the anchor to my soul. When I would want to just kiss this whole walk goodbye, and get angry with God and say, I'll get back to you another day or another year. That one experience kept me that song where they sing, He touched me. He touched me. Ah. Oh. When he touches you, can nobody pull you down? Because 
you will continue to call out, reach out to him, even when you're in the wrong and when you have created the mess you're in. Because once you have felt how God loves, you know no matter what you do, because of the way you feel towards him as well, you're not going to go but so far. Now, that, I'm going to tell you that. A boat cannot drift when the anchor's down there. It may drag a little bit, but it ain't going to go too far. And when God's anchor is in your spirit, that love, you're not going too far. Trust me on that. You have enough sense to keep your behind, your, as the old folks so you say, your hind parts where they belong. You're not going to stray too far. But I tell you this, when you are going through and you are having a tough time of it, he is the only one who's got what you need. He is the only one who's got your answers. He is the only one who can resolve, who can reconcile, who can heal, who has your solution. I don't care what tricks you think you have up your sleeve. They are nothing. Co compared to God, they're like little old stinky dead flies. Compared to God's wisdom, his majesty, his, his power, his authority, his ability to control and work things out for you, making a way where there is no way. He will make a way in the desert. He will bring water where there is no water. He will bring supply where there is nothing. Yeah, you serve a powerful God, and don't you ever forget that. Because one thing that's beautiful about him, he doesn't forget about us. And he has not forgotten you. You remember that here. Got a little makeup running in my eye. <laughs> Woo, he has not forgotten you. He's not a deadbeat dad. He will not abandon you at your lowest time. That's when he draws closer. Even if you created some of the mess that you're dealing with, you call out to him. Oh, you see just how present he really is. He is a true father. He not only leads and guides, but he is our parent. He's more loving than the most loving mother you could ever imagine. Because God is love. He's, he is... He is uh, unadulterated love. There is no flaw in his love. No flaw whatsoever. He's perfect love. And perfect love casts out fear. Yeah. Perfect love heals. Perfect love protects. Perfect love reveals. <sighs> I remember one time I was sitting up in church and the Lord told me something about myself I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And when he got through telling me, I was shocked. I was shocked as if somebody said, girl, you walked up in church with your slip on, where's your skirt? I'd be like, oh. yeah, I was shocked. Now I've told you what it was before, so I'm not going to go into it. It's on one of those tapes. But I was shocked. So shocked. I couldn't believe, couldn't believe <laughs> that he saw that in my heart. And since God is not a man that he should lie, I knew he was the one that was right and I was the one that was missing it by a mile. But I was shocked. That's when I learned just how much more God knows us than we know ourselves because as soon as he said it, I could see it. And I could see all my little nasty thoughts and my attitudes. And I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that's what that was from. But it was plain as the nose on my face once he brought it to my attention. He knows us, you guys. 
He knows what you need. He also knows what you don't need. And he will allow life to work it in and work it out. Trust him. He will never do you wrong. God bless you.